Hi, this is Yarn Journey, and we're playing around with some of the new dual-sided bands available at the Rainbow Loom store. I um, discovered a way to make the the gumdrops a little more distinct, that they're more um, round. So um, I wanted to share that, and I'm going to call it the gumdrop too, because if you do it like this, let me get it in focus a bit. Do it like this. When you pull them apart, they each have that conical shape that looks like an individual gumdrop all the way around. And then they look like the gumdrop bracelet otherwise. So, there's only a couple little tweaks. And I'll show you those and make a bracelet. So, for each um, gumdrop, you need three of this bracelet here. You need three of the color and one clear. And these tweaks are should only add a few seconds to each gumdrop. Okay, be in focus. So, like always, the first band is crossed. And with the monster tail, I can do the diagonals easily by, because I can turn around the, the loom easily. And yes, you can make this on the um, the regular rainbow loom, setting it up like a quad fish. So um, you put that one on. The, that's your bot. That's going to be the top of the gumdrop. This is going to be the bottom band of the gumdrop, and then this will be the middle band of the gumdrop. And you want to put that on top, so that we can take the bottom band and loop off the top band with the bottom band and do a switch loop on on this beginning stitch. Yeah, and holding it in the angle for the camera gets a little tricky. Maybe I'll get better with the next one. So you switch loop off that the first band. That's the cross band. Okay, so we're so you have your two bands on. This is your going to be the bottom one's your middle gumdrop band, and then the top one's your bottom gumdrop. Then I'm going to put on my clear band that goes in between each gumdrop, and I'm going to use that to loop off the middle gumdrop. So the pattern is still two loop bands followed by um, two regular fishtails, kind of. Okay. And to make the bottom of the um, gumdrop flat, I'm going to take it off right now off onto this band off onto the um, middle band. And when you think of these beads or gumdrops, this band is always, this fourth band that you're, that's in between is always related to the um, color that's coming off. So you always start with the cross band. So then we just do that um, again exactly the same way for each one. So each individual gumdrop is totally individual. So we're going to cross this one to bring in the top. So the only differences are crossing the first part of each gumdrop and then the last bottom making it flat by looping it off singly over the, um, the, the band that's in between the gumdrops. So if you're doing them with one color, this band is always going to be the color of the bands preceding it. Okay, so um, so then I need to make a fishtail. I'm going to have to put two bands on, crossed one, and then the middle band. So that's the top gumdrop band, and then the middle one. And then I'm just going to fishtail this one off. So that's the, the second fishtail.
Okay. And then I'm going to put the bottom gumdrop band underneath and um, use it to take off the top gumdrop band. I'm doing the switch loop again. And then we're going to put on the clear band at the bottom here. And use it to take off the middle gumdrop band. Like that and then to make the bottom flat I'm going to loop off the bottom of the gumdrop right onto the clear band I'll do one more and then we'll I'll do them and fast forward the camera I'll do one more slow because I don't think I really explained that one as well as I could have last time so um, you put your band on and cross it that's going to be the top gumdrop band And then I'm going to put on the middle gumdrop band to make a fishtail. To have the three bands for a fishtail. Okay. And then I'm going to just take this one off again as a fishtail, this clear band. Okay. And then the bottom gumdrop band goes on at the bottom to be used to take off the top gumdrop band in the fishtail or in the loop stitch I mean like the loop stitch or the switch loop And then I'm going to take the clear band at the bottom to take off the middle gumdrop band in a switch loop too. And then to make the bottom of the gumdrop flat, I'm going to push these, um, just take these off on the same clear band. That makes the bottom of the gumdrop flat. So I guess my everything's moving around here. So I'm going to finish the bracelet um, with a real quick fast forward, and then I'll talk about the the little differences with the other bracelets and um, how to do that. Okay.
Okay, I'm at the last grape gumdrop. Um, it's my 20th one, and you'll want to do either um, somewhere between 18 and 22, depending on the size of the wrist that you're the person you're making the gumdrop or the bracelet for. Um, so this is the last one. So again, we're crossing the first band. And each gumdrop has four bands, and this is the first band, and it's crossed. It kind of, I want you to think of it as in terms of four bands instead of the three and the clear, because when you do it all in one color, the sequence is the cross band first, and um, then a plain band. And we're going to just fishtail this previous gun drop off, the blueberry one. And now we're going to put on the, the bottom of the grape gun drop. And use it to loop off the top cross band of the gun drop. I'm going to use this fourth band of the gumdrop, final band, and um, loop off the second band. And we're going to take off the third band in a fishtail type stitch over the fourth band. And that's the end of our bracelet. So then we're going to put all of the these clear bands on one peg. Get a C clip here. And slip it on through till they're all hooked on. And then pull it off. And we have our bracelet with our individual gumdrops. This is the fun part, pulling them out and checking them. So I made mis some mistakes I had to redo. So, okay. Then what I like to do is, um, I'm working at getting better than this. Find the four that are crisscrossed. Find these four that are crisscrossed here, and I'll pick them all up one at a time and put them on. Let me get this in focus. Yes, pick them up one at a time and put them on here. So I'm going to pick up one, and then I just go and find the next one in order, which is this one. And then this one. And then usually the fourth one is kind of in there between them. But, but you'll find it. It's right there. And when I get all four of those on, I can just take my um, C-clip now and go straight down the side here and get them all on here. And that's how I close that bracelet. Okay, so that's the gumdrop where they're little conical looking gumdrops. And the more you pull them out, you'll, um, they get into a better shape, so you can pull each of them out. Okay, and then this bracelet is done with the sweets bands. I didn't buy all the colors, I just bought a couple, a few of the colors 
to try, but they, I, since they have the sparklies, they would make it got this type of, with the clear in the middle. But as you can see, the first band is crossed. The first band's crossed, the second band is looped off to the third band is um, looped off over the fourth band, and then this fourth band is what we do for the clear. And you get individual gumdrop shapes, but when they're collapsed like this, they, they tend to look rounder with more definition. Then this one, I didn't, um, I crossed the first band to give it more definition in between the bands, but I did not, um, but I did not loop off that third band off onto the fourth band. I just did a regular fish, fish tail after I added the cross band. So I added the cross band and then just fishtailed the third band over that so that and this would be, um, so it's sturdier. So if you wanted to use it for a purse handle or something, it would be better than using something like this that, that is thinner in between the beads. Okay, and then I just wanted to mention, this was the original um, sugar on top type of gumdrop that, that, um, that I discovered. And then I was playing around and I noticed that if I did just the, without crossing the bands, you can though, um, if I did the jelly color and then the matching opaque band, it kind of makes a really neat looking bracelet too. It's a, it has a different feel to it. It has that more um, erasery feel to it than the harder jelly bands. So it's a softer bracelet. I think that's kind of cute, and then you just ha I just did the six colors, the you know the red, the purple, blue, green, so the primaries and the secondaries basically. So this is another version of the gumdrop. So it would be um, two jellies that are looped off, and then two opaque bands that are fishtailed off, and it works too. So all right, so. That's so. This is the the two of them, the two gumdrop um, twos, and this one started with green, and so and this so it has three greens, and this one started with pink, so it has the three pinks. Okay. All right. Thank you.